Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can stroke or outline text inside of GIMP. So here I've already gone ahead and added in an image, added in text. So what you do from this point is you right click on the text layer, you go down to Alpha 2 Selection, which is going to give you this border around all of your text elements. So what we can do with that now is create a new layer. So in the layer panel, hit create a new layer here. You can probably just use the defaults there, transparency, layer fill type. And now we right click on the screen, go to edit, and stroke selection is going to be down here at the bottom. Now when we pop open this panel, it's going to give you stroke line, solid color, or you can do a pattern. In most cases, you probably want solid color. You can increase the line width if you want it to be larger than normal. And the color is going to be whatever you have the color set over here as the foreground color inside of GIMP. You can also see with line style, you get some extra options for controlling how it will look as a border around all of your text. But like I said, in most cases, you're just going to want solid color line width. So here I'm going to boost the line width to 12 pixels because I think that this text is really large actually. So it probably needs a larger line width. And then we'll go ahead and stroke it. So with that done, we now have a black outline around all of our text. Keep in mind that if you increase the stroke size too much, it may give you a few issues like here on this and sign. You can see how the stroke's kind of caving in there, and maybe 12 pixels is a little bit much. Once again, it does vary depending on what your text size is. Just to demo one more time with a different option, I'll do alpha to selection and a new layer. And here we'll do a dashed line instead of a solid line. So edit stroke selection, and maybe I'll set it to 10 pixels here. And in under line style, we will choose a dash preset, and let's do medium dashes. So we'll stroke it, and now instead of a solid stroke all the way around, we get these dashes. It looks a little weird, and that's probably why in most cases you're just going to want to go for a solid stroke. But hopefully that gives you an idea of a couple ways you can stroke your text or outline it inside of GIMP. Thanks for watching, I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future video content.